wanted to have a message, especially as, um, as I was going to go on stage and receive my diploma, uh, and especially on the same stage that told us that we can't hold banners, we can't hold flag, we can't chant, we can't acknowledge or even pay any tribute to um, anything and all the victims that are, are being senselessly killed right now in Gaza. So I decided that you know the only thing that I can do is hold a banner that says in French, Gaza Sciences Po is with you. The moment that it started, we were told um, to not have any flags, no banners, uh, no chance, nothing at all, as if the ongoing genocide in Gaza wasn't going, wasn't happening. And it's kind of like just ignoring that and, and, and just graduating in, in, in tranquility and peace as, they, as, they, as I cite them. And um, so this was sort of the context of uh, today, but it's part and parcel of a larger context of repression over the past eight months at Sciences Po for any pro-Palestinian voice, any pro-Palestinian mobilization and action. Um, starting from um, you know the administration and trickling down even to the students intimidation for anyone that uh, voices uh, support and sympathy for um, the victims of the ongoing aggression and genocide happening in Gaza. I'm also extremely proud to uh, have also been in the presence of my classmates who wore kufiyas for their graduation, wore Palestinian flags, many also were holding banners um, saying uh, this is for Hind or free Palestine or in Paris we graduate, in Gaza children die and uh, it's just, it's, it's, it's extremely humbling and I'm so privileged to be surrounded by like-minded activists who understand the necessity of, uh, of speaking about Palestine specifically in the context of uh, Sciences Po's graduation in which we uh, are and have been uh, repressed for the past eight months.